What's up guys, Skitter Rampage here. So today we're going Funko Pop hunting at the mall, specifically Hot Topic, because they got in some of the new Naruto Funko Pops. Well, I think just Mike Guy, but they also got in some other new stuff. So let's go Funko Pop hunting. All right, so they just opened. Now they only have 15 available, and if seven people come here for it, then it's pretty much gone if people are buying doubles. However, I'm hoping they have at least two because I know Bailey needs one and I need one. And there doesn't seem to be a line, so here's hoping. All right, guys, so we got what we needed from Hot Topic. We got three different pops, two of the Mike guys, one for me and one for Bailey, and then also a Honey with Bun Bun from Oron Host Club because she really wanted that one. She was talking about it the other day, which what made us able to actually use our Hot Cash after a coupon as well, $5 off, we spent roughly 20 bucks on three pops at Hot Topic. Not bad these days, given how expensive they are. We're in Box Lunch, they do have their Mariah Carey pop album here, which is pretty neat, as well as Izumo here. This is the last one. I am debating on getting him, though, because he does have some, like, tears on his box, as well as, like, little damages all over. So thinking about it, but given it's their last one, I might pick it up. They also do have a lot of new Funko Gold figures and pop pens here. They also have the new Star-Lord Christmas one where he's holding the present. This is pretty cool. Over here, they do have some of the pop keychains. They have Monoma as well as Izuku Midoriya. Oh, and I also found Jiro. Stopping in Books A Million really quick, they did have the 10-inch Maleficent. This thing's huge in person. Over in Books A Million, they did get in the new Jiro BAM exclusive where she has the guitar. It's a really cool. They also have Layla from Moon Knight here. Oh, a bunch more Jiros down there. Oasis Pops. I actually haven't seen those in person yet. They have the 10-inch Maleficent Dragon there. Thor with Goat Boat. That's a really cool, probably one of the best pop rides of this year. We also have the Golden Girls there, some NASCAR, Samurai Jack, Men in Black. Let's see what else. Squid Games here, the regular Jiro, Sharon Carter. A lot of different stuff there. I think Jiro's the newest thing though. Over here, they have a little bit of an ET display. They have some old pop pez, or it looks old kind of. Pretty cool though. And then Elliot and Gertie there. Right here, they have some of the black light figures, Sally and Mayer from Nightmare Before Christmas. These actually turned out really good. Our manga choice for this video is going to be Fist of the North Star. This looks pretty cool. Over in GameStop, it does look like they have the new Tokyo Gori T bundle here, which is pretty cool. We do have Black Adam and the Simpsons. Looks like they also got in one of the Godfather new commons. So these ones down here, they say $11.97, but they're actually only around five bucks, which isn't bad. So check out your local Game Stops for $5 pops, even exclusives. We also have the Powdered Toast Man, Legally Blonde there, the new Silence of the Lambs Hannibal, uh, Sasaki there, some pop pens. Let's see, also buy three, get one free deals. More Black Adam, more of the Sally Face. We have a Larry here. Up there, some of the SDCC, some of the bigger six inch pops, 18 inch group. Does anybody own that? Let me know. Oh, it's actually on sale. It's at $89.99 right now instead of $100. Master Chief, John Cena and The Rock, bunch of Darth Vaders. And then this is some of their other collectibles. They have some of like the ramen like bowls, which are pretty cool. Endeavor figure. I know over here, they do actually have one of the ramen bowls, as well as Shota Aizawa and the uh, Toon Dragon, the silver metallic one, or chrome, I think it is. But yeah, hitting stores. Over in FYE, they got the Black Adam comic cover. This thing looks so sweet. Check that out, that's amazing. Looks like they also got a restock of Princess Leia there, some Olivier's and Queen Historia's. They have some Mr. Burns there, glow in the dark. Kind of surprised that's not a hotter seller because it's a really cool glow. Uh, over here are some of the Thor Love and Thunders. Let's see. Oh, Jacob Toretto, Fast and Furious. Looks like a restock. Starship Troopers, Atomic Blonde. Those are old pops. Um, let's see. Iron Maiden, Green Lantern cover. Oh, they have some of the uh, Hall of Armor sets. Oh, looks like the full set, actually. Oh, that's such a really cool set. Top Pops did a really cool thing where he traded out the suits, which was really neat bunch of grateful busters just not a hot seller i guess um clark griswold a bunch of leprechauns a bunch of 2.99 wow three dollar pops actually it's pretty good some wwe over there a bunch more sports and like anime all right guys so we left the mall and it is a very hot day might i add i might look a little glossy in the eyes and like it's just heat there's so much heat out here anyways though we're gonna run into target really quick and see if they have anything if not then we'll probably just head home and i'll show you guys some of the stuff i picked up all right, so Target's Funko section isn't exactly amazing, but they do have a couple things like the Obi-Wan Kenobi art series. This is actually, it's its not that great in person to be honest, but it's okay. We also do have some of the Ronin and B556 moments, Dr. Sadler with Triceratops, Rentra, and then all the way over here with Bailey, 
all the way over here. <laughs> Funko Pops. <laughs> There's pops here. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, we have the Valkyrie pop a pin here, Target exclusive. Cassie in there, Wanda Visions, Wanda and Agatha. Sam there, Carrie, some of the new horror. They also do have Leprechaun. Um, let's see down here, Kamran there from Miss Marvel. The uh, tea bundle there for Killmonger as well as the advent calendar. Plus, they do have the Temple of Khonshu statue. They have one available. Pretty cool find. All right, guys, so now we are back, and we did pick up a couple things from Hot Topic on this hunt, like the new My Guy, as well as the restock for um, Honey with Bun Bun there for Bailey. So you guys have technically already seen this. If you guys don't know, I did actually buy this in the past online. However, Hot Topic shipped it in bags and sorters, and they came absolutely crushed like accordions. So I ended up, uh, I think, selling those off for, like, let... Oh, no, no, I returned them, actually. I returned them to Hot Topic because I was like, I'm not keeping these. So we ended up getting a mint one for Bailey because she wants to start that set. And then we did get the brand new Might Guy Funko Pop here. So as you guys do know, these have been hitting Hot Topic and Box and stores. So check your local ones and follow them on Instagram if you guys are looking for these. Or you can just pre-order them now because Funko officially announced them. But Might Guy is really awesome. We did come across Ismo today. However, I decided to pass on him because... Again, they're new common, so they're going to be widely available very, very soon. So I don't want to settle for a damaged one on the back there when I can just wait for a little bit of a better condition one. Either way, Mike Guy, definitely a really awesome one. I am super excited for Chalice's exclusive as well with the uh, eight inner gates. That thing looks amazing. I can't wait to see the glow in person. But let's check out Mike Guy in person here. Now, if you don't know, a lot of people don't exactly like this pop too much. They prefer the eight inner gates, which obviously it's the cooler variant, but... A lot of people don't like the design they went with. I thought it was kind of cool to, you know, incorporate the cheekbones right there to kind of make it a little bit different than the uh, Rock Lee head sculpt. And then you have the even bushier eyebrows, which is funny. The little shine in the hair detail, which is in the anime. It's just really awesome pop. And they even have the hair kind of waving in the back. That's just a really cool detail, to be honest, overlapping each other. I think they did a great job. He has nunchucks in hand. Overall, I really like it for the first Mike Guy pop. Well, actually, I guess... Is this, yeah, this is, well, I mean, it's like one of the first. Anyways, this is the first, like, Mike Guy not in eight inner gates is what I mean. I am definitely excited for the rest of the exclusives and pops in this wave. I can't wait to see Killer B in person as well as Moderate Six Pack. I, my box lunch actually got that in, but they sold out of it. They only had one Izumo left. I was really disappointed because that's why I went back to Box Lunch today and they didn't have it unfortunately, but it's okay. I'll end up with it eventually. I'm hoping one of the Hot Topics a little bit closer to me maybe ends up getting it very soon. Let me know down below, were you guys able to grab any of these new Naruto commons? Pretty much every single common has come out so far. So were you guys able to get the full set or were you not able to get the full set? Let me know what you ended up grabbing. Well guys, that's everything for this video. I would say this is another successful hunt for sure. We didn't pick up too many things today, but we found a lot of really cool stuff. So thank you so much for watching this video. Video. And if you guys want to see more pop hunts in the future, make sure to hit that like button down below. Now, I do want to say a big shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate your love and support. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, leaks, and more. We also do have a Facebook group with over 15,000 members. That's buy, sell, and trade. And make sure to be following me on my social medias over on Instagram, Twitter, and my Facebook page to stay up to date. All right. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.